Buongiorno YouTube, it's Trevor here, Summit or Nothing, back today in the lounge having a look at some more gear that I have. Today I'm going to be looking at hiking poles. I've got some old ones, I've got some new ones, and this, what's so special about this one, you'll find out in a minute. If you are new to Summit or Nothing then please make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications. This is your best place to come for honest budget kit reviews, hiking, wild camping videos, just outdoor fun basically. Anyway, my hiking poles that I've been using for a long while. High gear, strider with a cork handle, got the end nubbins, Naif gave me these, anti-shock, twist locks. Now, these have done me proud, to be fair. I enjoyed using them, they haven't failed on me. I took them through the Romanian Carpathians. They act as my tent poles for my lantern. They have been good fun. It feels plastic, but I don't know whether that's plastic coated aluminium. They're aluminium, basically. So they're sort of a mid-range selection. They've done me all right. I don't know how good the anti-shock is. If you press it, they don't click that much you know you, you can feel a little bit there but they've done me all right let's have a look what they weigh at you know how i love to weigh things let's weigh them they come in at 0.55 kilograms so 550 kilograms so half a kilo near enough i'm sure you can get a lot lighter probably have to spend out to get a lot lighter but i saw that these were on offer and i wanted to try them out so we are intending on doing a little bit more mountain hiking so you want something fairly reliable i thought why not get some new hiking poles these are black diamonds i bought nathan a pair as well again they are aluminium um, i'm not sure with these ones whether these tips came with it but with these black diamonds i've had to fork out additional for these so these was about I think they're like 50, 60 quid for this pair. Plus I paid eight pounds for the ends just to protect them. And I don't know, I prefer using them than sort of stabbing the hiking poles into the ground. They don't offer anti-shock. I don't feel like there's any sort of press there at all. But what I do love about these is the, how easy they are to open, slide, and lock shut then you've got a screw on there you can adjust to make them tighter should they ever sort of become looser but that's a lot easier to set up than the strider they're a lot thinner they're quite a slim hiking pole perhaps because you haven't got to have all the tighteners inside it but yeah they're really comfortable really comfortable grip as well and i quite like the sort of the burnt orange color to them as well Let's have a weigh up of those. I'll get my scales out. I'll put a link to these scales below as well. Right, so they've come in at 0.47 kilograms. So 470 grams. So they are slightly lighter than the high gear. As I said, they're slimmer. They feel more robust. They feel, not that I've had any issues with these. They've never, they've never failed on me. But yeah, these are slimmer. They look nicer, but you know, the only thing was you had to pay extra for the ends. So that brings me on now to my special hiking pole. Now this bit of kit here, the MBC M150 Photographer. Now this is a carbon hiking pole, so it's real light. It's twist again, comes with the end. It also came with the little disc bit you can put around it. I just haven't applied it yet. But this, I was looking for something like this for a long time. So it twists, open to open and lock. It's got this lovely sort of walnut ending on there. It's not walnut, like wooden end to it. But that's, it's a decoy. Let's have a look at this. You screw that off and then look what you got on the end. A camera bolt. Basically, it's a monopod, but I had a monopod before, which I sort of used as a hiking pole, but it was not really designed for a hiking pole. And every now and again, if you put weight on it, they'd close on you. So I thought there must be a monopod on the market. 
So I looked online and sure enough, yeah, found one on Amazon. It's designed in Canada. Reasonable sort of price. Uh, a lot cheaper than a lot of the monopods I was looking at. And you know it's a hiking pole as well, so it's going to do its job. But yeah, this was a game changer really. I always carry my camera around my neck or hanging off my bag. And I thought if I had it on a monopod, like the old days, you just have your pole and you can walk and you ain't got to fight if you're using your hiking poles. Because that's the heart. half of the trouble is you walk, you do your knees all these damage because you don't want to keep swapping your hiking poles for your camera. That's the truth of it. Let's be honest. So now I can have my camera out and my hiking poles and that's basically it. So I'll put the lid on. We'll weigh this one individually. I mean, you could buy a set of two, but you could basically just pair this up with whatever hiking pole you are using. So on its own, it weighs in at 0.23 kilograms. So, you know, if you had the two of them, that would come in at 56. So just under the weight of the Striders, and just over the weight of the Black Diamond. But a great bit of kit. For any of you who are out there making your YouTube videos, vlogging, this is a fantastic little bit of kit, and I am looking forward to using it I will say that I ordered this about a month before we went up the Lake District and it turned up on the day that we'd left. We were sort of halfway up across the country when my wife phoned me and said, your hiking poles turned up, so a bit disappointing. So yeah, if you need it, make sure you order it sooner rather than later because it did take a long time to get here, but great bit of kit. So there we go, that was just a quick look at my hiking poles. Hope you enjoyed that. And um, also, do you like my Summit or Nothing polo shirt? I bought this from the merch store. I quite like this because it's more of a discreet design than having the logo right on here. If you go on my Facebook page, I will be sharing up the discounts and offers on the merch page. Should you ever want to buy anything, just keep an eye on there and I'll let you know when it's cheaper for you. All right, anyway. Yeah, I'll bring you more kit reviews and hopefully I'll get out at some point for a bit of a hike and a wild camp. Anyway, take care everyone and I'll see you all soon. Chase!